My name is Drew Francis, and my youth minister was Doug Malden. My name is Alyssa Atkinson, and my youth minister was C.J. Malott. My name is Nick Murray, and my youth minister in high school was Jeff Gardner. Steve Reimer. Carolyn Jenkins. Michael Terrell. Marty Thompson. Steve Wright. John Butterfield. My dad. My mom. Bolsey. I'm Monty Irwin, and my uh, youth minister was Don Laughlin. I think the word acceptance is, uh, is what comes to mind when I think of Don and how he ministered in my life. I uh, was one of those quiet, shy kinds of teenagers. I felt very awkward. Uh, I was tall, lanky, felt uh, physically awkward, felt awkward in relationships. And Don really drew me out. And more, more than that, he, he recognized uh, the Holy Spirit's uh, uh, gifts being worked out in me, and he gave me opportunities uh, to be able to use those gifts. My senior year I had a youth pastor named Skeeter Thompson who uh, came in and just developed a passion for the Word of God in us as men, uh, just the guys that were in the youth group with me, and then uh, giving us just the picture of what it looks like to go and take care of people. What I remember most about youth group and the things that my youth minister taught me were that it's not all about me, and he um, taught us the value of serving others and doing things for other people, and. You know, me and others in my youth group, we got more out of it most times than the actual people we were serving for. Carolyn, I remember in 11th grade when I came into your office and I told you that I decided to be a monk. I forget the reasons why. And you explained to me how you had to be Catholic to be a monk. And it also meant that you couldn't have sex. I decided against it. And for that, I'd like to thank you. For taking us to the University of Kansas and leaving me on campus there and going home and forgetting that I was still at the university in seventh grade and getting a speeding ticket both on the way to come pick me up and on the way home. For just displaying Christ in such a passionate way that then challenged me to display Christ with that same passion. For making sure the gospel broke through all the noise in my life. For always encouraging us to chase our dreams, yet making sure we stay grounded. For all the opportunities you gave me to teach. For helping me get this job. For teaching the girls of our youth group that words printed on the butts of our pants is highly inappropriate for investing in me and for walking us through the book of Philippians. For being a constant in my life. For helping me not sit on the sidelines. Thank you. 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 Thank you.